Okay, friends, we are back again on a new week, and today we're going to talk all about gauge, okay? Um, it's probably one of the most important parts when it comes to garment making, um, and it's crazy to think that I'm going to gauge for my own self, for my own design, because I originally made it with Lion Brand Comfy Cotton, but I am making it with Lion Brand Kobu this time around. I am so looking forward to the idea of the different kind of drape that it's going to give. I feel like this might be a little bit something more for cooler times, and then this will be something more for warmer times. So, so looking forward to it because that bamboo, bamboo and cotton are like two of my top faves. I did want to show you all the difference, but when we get closer to hands-on looking at it, I will go ahead and show you all the difference of like what the string of the comfy cotton looks compared to the string of the kobu. Not that I was planning on doing like a yarn review here, but we might as well discuss two of my favorite yarns. So I also have like my pattern here and I have um, my tape measure and I have three different hooks. So the, um, the pattern I have calls for the 4.5 millimeter hook and I brought a five millimeter hook and a four millimeter hook. Hopefully we can get gauge with those. Otherwise, um, I'll come hop, hop back in, do some like video magic to come back with other options on gauging. Um, so let's go on and I guess I could talk about the stitches as we make them. And um, no, let me talk about why gauge is important. Okay, so if you don't get the same stitch amount and a row amount as me, then either your garment will end up too small or too big. But also when it comes to gauge, um, you want to kind of know like the finished dimensions because you can decide like in the design if they say it's positive ease or negative ease. When a design is made, they will factor in whether it has positive or negative ease. So with positive ease, it will give like your finished bust plus some. Negative ease will be like your finished bust minus some. So negative ease will be more form fitting and tight on your body. And then positive ease will be more loose and baggy. And Absolutely no ease, just means it's the same measurements as what you're wearing. So for mine, I said that it has two inches of positive ease. So when you take your bust size, mine is a um, 34. So that means that it will be plus two inches. So a 36 inch finished piece will be on my bust. Um, so if you want more or less than that, you can decide accordingly on the pattern. And you should get the same with as long as you gauge. So if you didn't gauge, then you just might happen to get something smaller or happen to get something larger, or you might get lucky and it's right on the money. So um, I don't know if it's worth the risk to you, because you might spend all that time making the thing and then for it to not fit. But hey, if you're like me and you don't mind and you could just give it to somebody else that who, who you know will love it too, uh, then go for it. Don't gauge. But for me, I'm going to gauge because I want to use this yarn and I want it to fit great. So my sample, like I said, was an extra small, which is a 30 inch. So it gives me 32 inch bust. My, the small is a for a 34 inch bust and it gives me 36. So I'm going to do small this time and I hope that I get like a nice drapey loose feeling knot sweater. Okay, let's go ahead and get started and then we can talk things through as we go. Okay. Hopefully I don't hit the tripod too much and we're good. 
but um, I wanted to show you. So here are my hooks. This is the hook that I use, the 4.5 millimeter. It's a Clover Amour. This is the Susan Bates, and this is a Knit Brooks hook. These are three of some of my favorite hooks. And then here is the comparison with the Comf Lion Brand Comfy Cotton Blend with the Kobu. So they're both DK weights, but you, um, you definitely can feel the difference. This feels like the Comfy Cotton feels a little bit thicker. Um, and the Lion Brand Kobu feels a little thinner. And it kind of looks it also, I think. In real life, maybe. Maybe, I don't know, the roll of it, I can feel like. No, maybe it's kind of similar. We will see by the test of gauge. Um... I like both of these equally, so don't think that I am discouraging you from one or the other. Um, so like I said, let's get started. We will go ahead and stick with what the pattern says first, which is the 4.5 millimeter. And on the pattern, you will see when you get it that it will say gauge and for four inches is 19 stitches by 19 rows in the moss stitch. So... If the item that you're making is in the round, then you will want to make your swatch in the round so that you get an accurate gauge. If the item that you're making is flat, which in this case it is done flat by panels, then you can make one square. So the proper way of making a gauge, you would want to make like double the size of what they say in stitches and rows to measure the exact middle of it. Because when you're making the actual item, you might change your tension between, depending on like the weight of the item and temperature or whatever. But we're trying to get as close to possible gauge as we can and get a rough idea of what the item would look like in a swatch. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave like an extra stitch on the outside of my swatch. Oh, okay. So if you don't know how to do a slip knot, like you're starting from the very beginning, this is exactly how I do it. So I will wrap it around my fingers and then pull the loop through the middle and then tighten it on my hook. There are plenty of tutorials on that or you can um, rewind back and see that. So since it's 19 stitches, I am going to chain a couple or a few extra than that so that I can have a single crochet on both sides of them and a chain a turning chain okay so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen Okay, then we're gonna add two more stitches and then a turning chain. Okay, so you skip the first chain, single crochet in the next one, chain one, skip one, single crochet, chain one, skip one, single crochet, all the way to the end. This yarn is a little bit splitty. I've worked with it before, but it's worth it. Like the drape is totally worth it. These, be sure not to twist the chains and like view each time to make sure that you're skipping and going into the proper ones. Tasty's down here. Can you guys hear her breathing? I hope she doesn't hit the tripod. Okay, so we're in the last one. Okay, so we're going to do the uh, turning chain. And then turn your piece here. And then we're going to single crochet in the first one. Single crochet in the next chain. 
chain one, skip one, and single crochet in the next chain. And chain one, like just repeat across. And this is what they call the moss stitch. And there are very many, like, tons of tutorials on YouTube that you can Google about that too if you need more details on that. I'm going to go ahead and get up to 19 rows so that we can see, come back and um, measure to make sure we're in the four inches. Single crochet in the first. And then since the next one's a single crochet, we're going to chain and then single crochet in the next chain. Okay, like I said, I'll go ahead and stitch and come back after 19 rows. Okay, it is the moment of truth. Ideally, you would like to block the swatch the same way that you would be planning to do it for your finished make. This has actually already been washed yarn, um, so it probably won't change much from here. So, remember I had like a couple stitches on the edges, so it might be a little bit, see, it is a little bit more but it's fine. I'd say we're pretty good on the four inch term. And then height, four inch, we're pretty good there too. Hello, cause we have like that cast on edge too. Cast on. I know this is crochet, not knit, but you know what I mean? That starting chain. Okay, and the actual design will have foundation stitches which I will show in the next video. So this is our gauge and I am ready. I get to start with the 4.5 millimeter and I mean I guess like the Kobu and the Comfy Cotton they are pretty similar gauge for me. So let me know. Comment with the yarn that you're using and whether you got gauge with the 4.5 millimeter and are like me or whether you had to go up or down. Which, by the way, okay, I should tell you. If you've never gauged before, and if you want more stitches, you'll go down a size. If you want less stitches, then you'll go up a size. So it'll make it bigger or smaller. So that's why I had one of each, just in case if I needed to go down or up. Down will give me more stitches, up. Oh, these are flip-flop. This is up and this is down. Okay, down will give me more stitches and up will give me less stitches. Okay, just remember that and that will help you on getting the gauge that you want. So, yay! I'm so excited that we actually get to start on a panel this next week. Should we start on the front panels or should we start on the back panels? I will let y'all vote below, please. See you next week.